This year's theme for Assisted Living Week is the magic of music. So I thought, why not combine music and art together, since music is a universal language and art is also a form of expression, to combine both arts together and see what the outcome would be. By doing this mural, it brought a lot of the residents together and they were on, on the same plane, even though some of them never did art before and some of them were art teachers in the past for, some, for 50 years, some owned their own art studio. They were all joined in together and they helped each other, so it was one cohesive group and it just the blend of it was, was a beautiful um, experience for everyone. The music and the art fit. And when you're doing it, you can feel the music. You can actually feel it. And uh, that's what I was doing, feeling the music. The, the pace of the music depends on the pace of your painting. If it's a very slow, you'll paint slow, and you won't be excited. But if it's peppy music, you'll paint something that's much more alive and so it, and it's subconscious and you're not you're not even aware of it well music is very soothing and it also uh, brings back a lot of memories of, of the good times painting to music makes me feel more complete more sympathetic more uh, responsive to the sound. The choice of the music that was played was all very 1948-50s, uh, something that this generation of this institution makes you feel uh, at home and everybody knows all the words to all the songs and they all remember where they were. We started with the music as a theme and what it encouraged is the visual painting of the objects related to that music, whether it was a place where you were at that time or a song that you sang at that time. The music really enhanced the atmosphere for the artwork. The figures that I drew, of Ginger, that was supposed to be Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire, but I was thinking of myself dancing with uh, my husband or one of my friends, whoever. I grew the jukebox because we had a jukebox in our recreation room. And it was something that my children and my grandchildren just loved. And we used to have that darn thing going when we had parties, we'd have the jukebox playing. It was always a wonderful feeling of music. And everybody enjoyed it. And when I did this, I was thinking of those good times when we had the jukebox and I used to have fun with it. The one with the musician blowing his clarinet. And then I tried with the ear. To me, it made sense. It goes with the thing, the sound, the music. First I was gonna make a violin and then I made something else and I wound up just making colors and uh, musical notes. And uh, it turned out very nicely. Well, while I was working on the project, I just thought of my uh, husband, my daughter, and how much fun they had together. They used to play the piano together all the time at a party, and it was, we always had a good time. The ideas bounce off each other in the large group. Uh, there is more room for experimentation and creativity. Working in the group helped me to be less anxious and I started to enjoy it a little bit. Well, working with the group was very nice because we had camaraderie and we worked off of each other's ideas and it helped a lot. I think the overall reaction from the residents was that they had a really good time with it. Some of them were able to express some of their feelings. It brought back a lot of memories. They really enjoyed the music aspect of it. They enjoyed moving to it and moving their paintbrushes to it. But I think everybody, for the most part, had a really good time in the group setting as well. For the end of the mural, you know, I thought, why not put their handprint on it as as to say is everybody had their hand in it 
and it's their own signature and they really, really thought that that was a great idea and got a kick out of it and um, really felt more cohesive as a group by doing that, giving their stamp of approval to the end of the project. When I put my handprint on the mural, uh, it made me very happy, first of all, to identify my work and everybody else identified their work. And on top of it, uh, it came out so that the whole mural came alive, and we all took pride in it. The handprint means I left my mark on the history of the mural. <laughs> and uh, that made me feel good, that I was a participant. I became widowed about six months before I came here, and I was lonely and my daughter found Brandywine and it turned out to be the best thing that could have happened to me. I have had a studio in town for a long time and I've recently given it up so I'm not doing as much. Until I came here I found it again which was great. It made me want to stay. If I were to go to another place where they didn't have that I would be bereft. This, this is great. I really like it. Here at Brandywine, we're very committed to our residents' quality of life. And by incorporating music and art into their everyday routine, you could tell by the smiles on their faces how much they just enjoy this project and everything else, all the other activities that we do here on a daily basis. I think we'll probably do some more murals since this was so successful. We're going to take some suggestions and move forward with that and see what else we can create. They work very hard and I appreciate it. <laughs>